What's up, folks? Welcome to another episode of the Sporting Life Notebook Show. Um, the Durrell's pick section, I want to kind of flip it up on y'all a little bit um, and show you guys one of the methods and techniques that I choose and I work on during summertime, during the springtime, getting my dog summertime fine, getting the puppies. Uh, this time I'm gonna bring Hot Boy and and, uh, and V out. But we getting dog summertime fine and I like to keep my hands on them. So what I wanna do is show y'all one of the techniques that I use, which is the palette, um, just, to, just to get them understanding what stop means and, and take the happy feet out of them and all that stuff. So this here, um, it's, it's super simple, man. It's super simple, just a, a, a cinder block, uh, four cinder blocks and a shipping crate. You can get it from Home Depot, back of somebody's warehouse. Yeah, they, they leave them out all the time. Um, but this is the next progression after the barrel. So the barrel, they kind of get a little happy feet and all of that, and that's fine. I like to get them just to let them know, hey, I'm your homeboy, I'm your friend, we're a team, we're working together. This here is, hey, we're still a team, we're still working together, I just need you to not be moving your feet and I need you to start learning how to focus. So I start this with my puppies when they're four or five months old. Hot Boy is five months old. All right, folks. So we got a couple of things that I wanna work on today. A couple of things being a couple of dogs and a couple of things per dog. But one of those things, and we got Hot Boy here out of uh, Champion Miller's Blind Cider, and then we got V right here, um, you know, my female pointer. Um, and what I want to do with these young dogs, I mean, they're less than a year old, is just get my hands on them and teach them to focus and pay attention. And I want to do it with the attention of both of these dogs. Teach them patience and teach them, you know, that we're kind of getting dialed in on me. Both of them are really nice dogs, but have the potential and tendency to, you know, run. So what I'm going to do, this is my palette. Um, I like to teach dogs to just stand in place and and learn focus, you know, so I'll sit here and it's a precursor to teaching them whoa, you know, but this is, this is the introductory stuff, the yard work that I want to do over the summer, um, just to get them dialed in. So when it's, when it's time, you know, for us to actually work on wild birds, you know, we'll have these basics and fundamentals set, but then also it's a safety thing, you know, teaching a dog to stop and understanding that like, I need you to do what I say, when I say, and however far it is, no matter who else is out here, like that's what I'm trying to accomplish. So, you know, I um, wanna just go ahead and get these puppies started. They've already run a good bit. Hot Boys actually run a good bit with Jamie Daniels. Um, you know, just, just getting him, you know, run off the mule and, and into birds. And uh, I've run him at my buddy George Gordon's house uh, yesterday for the first time and really and he, he handled really well so his range was there but he is he is definitely if a dog will run 130 40 50 something yards out from you and will keep going after that the dog is, needs some some brakes put on him not to reel him back in but to to get his attention if he's way far out I don't want to take his range out of him or his or his style or speed or anything I want to put brakes on him so what I'm gonna do, uh, come this way, buddy. I like this pallet. I knock out some of the slats in the middle for the reason that he is doing now, like he is kind of falling in between and you can see, you know, he's trying to get his feet comfortable and he's trying to find his footing. Makes him incredibly aware of where he's at. I like this. After barrel work and a barrel, the difference between this and working on a barrel, and I used to be a big advocate of this when I first started, um, you know, with Vegas and, and, and got him going. And I wrote a, a good bit with, for Project Upland about barrel work and all of that. But uh, one thing that I ended up noticing was just, you know, it was, it was something that didn't necessarily stop them from having happy feet. This stops them from having happy feet. The barrel was great for me getting my hands on them though. Um, you know, and so, and just getting them used to, you know, this point, you know, where now he's not necessarily looking for his footing. I just want to keep him, you know, keep him there. So, now I'll start posing him. This is 
tail forward a bit. Yoke up on his neck a good bit just to keep his head in line. Turn his head back up. Yoke up when I don't want that. Precursor to e collar pressure. There we go, simmer down. Don't really want a whole lot of looking around. And that'll end. And then also, press your face up, everything. Uh, antagonize them a little bit. Not necessarily okay. Good boy. And to come off, hold him just a little bit, and over time, you'll extend this rope. I don't want you to come off, I want you to resist. And if he doesn't, that's fine. And all you're doing is manipulating. Attention. So I want to just make it fun for him. That's fine. All right. Take him down. That was good. He's losing his attention a little bit. That's fine, though. Take him down, and we'll switch dogs. All right. So we got V here. My female pointer. She's at the same stage. You know, they're close in age she's a little bit older than, than hot boy is but similar deal where i just want to they're, they're used to being on a barrel and this is the stage afterwards and this is where i want them to start getting used to being on here there you go Wear her legs up. Good posture. There you go. I said age also has a lot to do with this too. Tension span. I don't ever force them do anything I just make what I'm doing and what the what we have going on here in this space on this pan on this uh this platform here I make this the most special thing that's going on and if all I get is this this is fine for now Make it feel good for him. It's real sensitive back there. Make it feel good for him. All right. Take him off. So that is just another thing that I do during the summer to get my pups ready for the fall season. And I start hunting with them and all kinds of stuff like that. So also, guys, if y'all want to see more of this, then you go and find out where I'm, I'm rocking this stuff at to Beretta USA, Beretta.com. This is what I like wearing, is functional, is form-fitting. Of course, Beretta is our wonderful sponsor. Um, and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good, I'm, I'm homies with Patrick, man. Patrick designed this for us. 
Um, and I got a chance to kind of pick his brain and see what inspired a lot of the work that he does. So this is actually one of my go-to uh, pieces on the daily. Um, in addition to the easy stuff that we have to do on a daily, 15, 20 minutes a day with a dog will go a whole lot farther than burning them out and all that. Keep them 15, 20 minutes, work with them, mess with them all here, do it two, three times a week and you're good to go. But this right here, this is another one of my picks. The palette, I use this as the next thing to keep my hands on them. This is another episode of Darrell's Picks on the Sporting Life Notebook Show. Thank y'all so much.